In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to launch your site to search engines and use ping settings effectively. Now, I just want to give you a quick explanation of this so you know what this is about. Basically, WordPress gives the ability to notify search engines that your site is live. And what ping means, it basically helps notify search engines that you've posted a new post or a page and it basically come check it out. So in other words, if you create posts or pages frequently, this can actually help you with your search engine ranking. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you exactly what you need to do to get this started. Now you need to understand that whenever you install a new WordPress blog, by default, it is set so that when Google comes to your website, they will index your site. If you are not ready to go live just yet, what you need to do is simply go to settings, go under reading, and at the very bottom, you're going to see search engine visibility. And what you need to do is select the discourage search engines from indexing this site. Now, obviously it is up to the search engines to honor this request, but this helps you tell Google, Hey, I'm not ready. So when you are ready, you can unselect it and click on save changes. Now, in order to set things up so that whenever you create a poster page and you want to notify Google that and say, Hey, I just created a brand new post. Come check out my page. What you need to do is simply go under the writing under settings. And at the very bottom, you're going to notice the update services it says here, when you publish a new post, WordPress automatically notifies the following site update services and basically allows you to ping these services and say, Hey, I've got a new post. I've got a new page. I got new content. Come check it out. So in order to get this list, you can get free lists on line. All you need to do is simply go to Google, type in WordPress ping list and whatever year that you are searching. So if it were 2014, you can search that. If it were 2016, do that. So whatever year it is, WordPress ping list the year, click Google search and you'll be able to find the updated ping lists. So for example, this one was about 2014. Obviously you want to have the most updated ones. So feel free to look through here and grab the list. So basically what they are is just simply URLs of websites and ping lists. And this is super easy to do. All you need to do is simply find the list. So this is a list. We're going to highlight this all the way down here. I'm going to right click, click on copy. And I'm going to go back to my WordPress dashboard and I'm going to paste that list right here. So when I'm ready, click save changes and we're good to go. Now you can find other ping lists by continually searching for them. And there are many, many different ping lists, but to be honest, I just keep it simple and keep it to the most basic ones, especially pingomatic, and we're good to go. Now, anytime you create a new post or page, you'll be able to notify the search engines that you have a new piece of content. And that's all you have to do.